uh, thank you to the Chamber, thank you citizens of Pinawa and the surrounding areas, and uh, thank you for, to my fellow candidates for uh, participating in these activities, for contributing to the democratic process that we all admire and, and enjoy in this country. Since coming into office in 2006, Stephen Harper's Conservative government has been implementing a low-tax plan for jobs and growth. Prime Minister Stephen Harper's steady economic leadership has steered the country through the worst global recession since the 1930s. Canada's economic action plan has helped the country emerge from the global recession as one of the world's top performing advanced economies. But there is more to be done. The global recovery remains very fragile. That's why last month, the Finance Minister tabled the next phase of Canada's Economic Action Plan, a low-tax plan for jobs and growth to complete the recovery, create jobs now, and lay a strong foundation for long-term economic growth. Our budget received praise from a diverse number of groups, ranging from the Canadian Federation of Independent Business to the Federation of Canadian Municipalities and to, indeed, the Canadian Labour Congress. A re-elected Conservative government will reintroduce this budget and implement the next phase of our economic action plan. <coughs> our government's plan focuses on five main priorities. We are creating jobs through training, trade and low taxes. We are supporting families through our family tax cut and support for seniors and caregivers. And despite the recession, we are emerging from this recession with the lowest debt to GDP ratio of all advanced countries in the world. And yet we will eliminate the deficit by 2014 by controlling spending and cutting waste. And we've done it without cutting health and essential services. We will make our streets safe through new laws to protect victims and especially children and the elderly rather than focusing on the interests of criminals. We stand on guard for Canada by investing in the development of Canada's north, by cracking down on human smuggling, and by strengthening the Canadian Armed Forces so that they can emerge from what they themselves describe as Canada's decade of darkness. Our Conservative government also recognizes that Canadian farmers produce the best, healthiest, and safest food in the world. Our agricultural policies and initiatives reflect this importance. When people ask me what is the best part of my responsibilities, I point out the, to them that I have three separate areas of responsibility. I tell them that I have the honour of being the Public Safety Minister of Canada. Secondly, I tell them that I have the additional responsibility of being the Regional Minister for Manitoba representing the interests of the entire province at the federal cabinet table. But I conclude by telling them that by far the most important and indeed the most enjoyable aspect of my responsibilities is being the elected member of parliament for the people of Provence. My position as a member of parliament provides me with the grounding, with the strength and with the stability to carry out all of my other responsibilities. Our government's priorities were developed with the input of the people of Provence, and I know they reflect your priorities. For the past 10 years, as your Member of Parliament, I worked hard to represent you in Ottawa. If you choose to re-elect me, I remain committed to implementing your priorities. Some examples of the course that I can point to is the money that the federal government provided for the decommissioning that is taking place, $130 million. When the license was taken away here or ended, no money was put in place for the decommissioning. It was our government in 2006 that brought that decommissioning, which resulted in, by 2008, 130 jobs right in this community and the surrounding areas. We recently announced the isotope production, $4 million of federal money. We've provided affordable housing in Pinawa. We've provided sewer and water in Seven Sisters, in Lac de Bonnie, 
in White Mouth. All of these issues, I know, are priorities for the people here of Provence. So I would ask you to consider re-electing me on May 2nd as your member of Parliament. Thank you.